Hello everyone and welcome back to the studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw triangular prisms because you've probably been wondering how do I draw uh, essentially things that are not within a cube. So these, what I'm going to draw right now is not going to be uh, equidistant with on the sides, it's just going to be arbitrarily drawn. Say for example that what I want to do is I want to draw one, let's see, we're going to go from here to here, that's going to be going to the vanishing point and it's going to be cut off. I'm going to draw from over from this side and I'm going to draw straight out this way. Let's have it go about mm, right about here. We're then going to drag this out. We're going to go to this corner. All I'm doing is I'm dragging, uh, drawing a rectangular shape on the floor first. We're going to do this lightly because we need to see where it coincides. This is basically just construction lines right here. And we had it about right, so it's going to go from here. We're going to drag out to be about right there. So now we've just drawn a rectangular shape on the floor. Well, how do we go about creating a triangular prism? Well, let's go ahead and grab a light orange right here so we can show you how we do that. Remember when we talked about bisecting, you can go from one corner to the next corner. We're gonna go from here, and we're gonna go to here. Let me make that a little bit darker so you can see that a little bit better. You're gonna bisect the, tri uh, the rectangular shape, sorry, and you're gonna go straight to there. What are we trying to do? Well, we're trying to find the exact middle. That's what we're trying to find. The point at which is the middle of this, this rectangular object is right there. Okay, so now we've just found that. So now, depending on how high I wanna have it, I can have it go up just a little bit, I can have it go up a lot. I can show you several different, um, several different trials just right here. Let's say we wanna go up to the green arrow. This is gonna be really low. Well, if we want to go up to the green area, what we can do is we can go ahead and we can draw from this corner. I'm going to go straight down to the top of the green. And all you're going to do is draw from every single corner and you're going to go straight up. There's one, here's two, here is three, and then we'll go to the final one, which would be going behind. And we'll just go straight up. And there you go. You've got a shape which is coming out. Okay, well, what if we wanted to make it higher? That's completely possible too. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw straight up right here. Let's say we want it to go this high. It's gonna be even higher. We're drawing a very, very large object. Okay, well then we just go from the same corner. We're gonna draw straight up to right here. Or we're gonna go down. We're gonna draw straight through and we're gonna follow the same process from one dot to the next and you're just going to go around here you're going to draw it from right here straight up and there you go on the exact same side you've just created on the exact same size you've just created another triangular object you can go as high or you can go as low as you want you can also do this on the sides of walls you're probably wondering well how do i do that let's say for instance that we are not drawing in two-point perspective and we want to draw something in one-point perspective. Let me go ahead and grab a red right here. I'm going to say that along this line right here, that's our floor. I'm going to go ahead, since it's one point, remember, the walls would be, in this case, they would be 90 degrees because we're only referring to one reference point. I'm going to go straight up right here. I'm going to go up again. Okay. And I would be going out. Actually, let's say that let's do this in two point perspective. And then I'll show you one point after I do two point. Let's say this is two point perspective right here. Okay. So everything is going straight down to right here. The other side would be going backwards in that direction. And essentially what you're doing is in this case, it would be one point. It would be one point perspective because it's going straight to this side over here while this is being straight. But at the same time, it's two point perspective because if you were to make this into a two shaped um, a 3D object with two sides, you'd be drawing from straight here to here, straight here. So you can do it on multiple different sides, but let's just stick with one directional point for right now. Doing the same process, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw straight down from right here to right here, and we're gonna draw straight across. What have we just done? Well, we've just bisected 
the actual surface itself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw straight out. So like we said, we're going to draw from this point at which we're going to go from two-point perspective first. I'm going to draw straight out. At any point into essentially infinity, you could draw an actual prism itself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off about right here. Which means that if I grab lines, I can go from the corner of one side straight up to right here. I can go from the corner of one side right up to there. The corner of this side, meet that point, and the corner of this side, I can meet that point. Same exact point. Now I know that looks a little bit weird because we did happen to, we did happen to uh, have this red line, but essentially that's what it would look like. That three-dimensional object right there is now a prism on its side in two-point perspective. If you wanted to do one-point perspective, as we had talked about, one-point perspective would be a little bit different. Because in one-point perspective, everything stays the same at a 90-degree angle, with the exception of the actual distance that you're going towards, the actual vanishing point. So let's say, for example, we're going to go from here. We're going to have the wall be up about right here. We're going to turn it into 90 degree surface. Be about right there. And I want to have my wall go from here to about right here. So now we have it perfectly flat. And the only thing that matters in this sense is the actual direction of the vanishing point. So now I'm showing you one point perspective after we've done two point perspectives first. So you get a little bit of a sense of the difference between the exact same method. This is a wall, just as the same as this is a wall, except this is in two point perspective and this is in one point perspective. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going into the distance. Well, why does that matter? Well, that matters because we need to know the directional line that's going to be leading in to the actual direction of our prism. This is going to be the height of our prism. We're going to go from this side right up to here, this side right up to here, continuing the exact same form. And just like that, in one point perspective, you have a triangular prism right there as well. For the last demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to create an actual triangular shape. Let's say, for instance, that I want to go ahead and draw this. I'm going to go straight out to about right here. I'm going to go to about right here. I'm going to draw to this distance, which is going outwards. I'm going to go ahead and bisect this from right here to right here. I'm going to go ahead and bisect right outwards towards there. Now you're saying, well, this is a rectangular surface. How is this triangular? Well, if you were to create another layer, and we'll do this relatively light, we know that a triangle, right, we know that a triangle bisects straight down the middle, the point at which a triangle forms. Why is that important? Well, we need to find the top. We know that a triangle has a flat surface, three flat, three flat lines within a surface that are equal to each other. If we were to draw this into perspective, it would mean from here to here to here, drawing this line straight out to here. That's a triangle, that shape that we just made. Well, now what can we do? Let's make another layer and let's draw this in a, in a blue. Well, the issue with this is that you actually have to cut the triangle in half now. In this sense, what you're doing is you're trying to bisect the actual part right here. This is the middle. The middle point is right here. That's what's interesting, is it seems that it would trick you almost 
So you have to be careful because this is the midpoint. As we talked about the triangle, that actual point, if I were to sketch it out real quickly right here, if we were to sketch it out real quickly, right? If we had a sort of triangle in any which way you wanted to do it, it would not have to be equal, right? But we've drawn right here is actually one in which case all the different sides are equal to each other. Well, what does that mean? It means the point at which we've just intersected from here to here to essentially here are all equal as well. Well, if all of them are equal, then this blue point right here can be found by bisecting the actual rectangle. We can now draw from any height that we want upwards or downwards. So I'm gonna to draw to about right here. And I'm gonna go from one corner, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna draw down to another corner, and draw to another one. That is entirely a triangle. You finish it in the bottom, you draw from right here to right here, and from there to there. I hope you enjoyed. Now go ahead and use this and make some wonderful props, backgrounds, and characters.